So, boys, we have a little bit of a problem today. My controller, my baby, my Xbox Elite V2 randomly broke. Well, it's not fully broken, but the Type-C port in here, this part is broken. And so I have to use this controller in Bluetooth, and I don't have a Bluetooth-like adapter on my PC. And so in today's video, we have to use the PS5 controller, and I have to play Claw, and I don't play Claw. So the class I'm going to be using in today's video is going to be this one. We got the Milano and the Amp. I think tomorrow's video is going to be on the Milano. Let me know if you want to see that. So in most Amp setups, we always do like a Kimbo and so I want to mix it up today and we are going to be doing a single amp class. If you do want to try out the single amp setup then for the muzzle add the agency suppressor just because there's a decent amount of recoil with this weapon and so the agency is going to help you control the recoil and you're going to stay at the radar with only losing effective damage range. And the effective damage range isn't going to really matter because this is a pistol and so you shouldn't really be using a medium and long range. Say you do want some more effective damage range and you can control the recoil and you want to stay at the radar then I would do this on suppressor and say you don't really care about staying off the radar but you want some recoil control then I would do the infantry compensator. For the barrel, you want to do the chrome line just to maximize that bolt velocity. It's going to make the gun feel like hit skin because the bullets are going to leave the gun and hit the enemies extremely quick. What you can also do is the task force barrel if you want to increase the damage in the range. So it's not going to reduce the shots to kill, but sometimes you might take one less shot to kill if they're at like a weird health value. But the reason I don't like the task force barrel is because it adds tons of recoil to the weapon. So I find myself missing shots and then it actually takes longer to kill the enemies. But if you can control the recoil very well with the task force barrel, then I recommend doing the task force. For the body, you want to do a steady and laser just to increase the hit fire accuracy and have no cons at all. You could do one of these, but I don't like the cons with these and like they don't really help too much. So in my opinion, I think it's better just to stay with the steady and laser or you could even take off the body and then you can add like a sight if you want. For the magazine, you can do whichever magazine you want. This is all kind of personal preference, but for me, I like the Stanek 25 mag just so I have the maximum ammo count because this gun doesn't really have too much ammo and the cons aren't too big with this. We are going to lose ADS speed and reload quickness, but it's not like too much. And to me, I think it's worth it to be able to have those cons that have this much ammo. What you can also do is the 20 round speed mag, you can do the salvo mags, you can do the vandal, or you can do the 20. I recommend going through all these and finding the one that you like. And lastly, for the handle, I recommend doing the airborne elastic wrap just to maximize that ADS speed. What you can also do is the serpent wrap. You're not going to get as much ADS speed, but you're not going to have as many cons. And the cons for the airborne, I don't really find them too much of an issue because these values are already really high because this is a pistol. So if you do come across a player with like an SMG and you got the amp out, even with the airborne elastic last grab you still should be able to get first shot because this is a pistol and here's the screenshot for the best single amp setup in cold war just before we go into the gameplay so i just made some g fuel i got the phase x flavor it's actually pretty good it tastes like fruit punch and then i also got my chug rug this one's pretty good it's not my favorite but it is pretty good so i actually combined those two flavors i did half a scoop of each to see maybe it would make a really good flavor my guess is that it's going to taste like a sour blueberry fruit punch <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck, the powder went in my nose. That is not shaking up all the way. Okay, taste test. That tastes like a sour blueberry fruit punch. <laughs> Highly recommend, it's pretty good. Actually, I don't know, now it's like a grape flavor, and I actually hate grape. Never mind, I don't recommend it. We get the one, okay, we need to drop a nuke on these guys. These guys are really bad. Well, I would assume they're bad. Yeah, I'm really not liking the task force barrel. Let's go up here. Okay, we got one dude AFK. Come up behind this one. Come up behind this one. Hit this guy in the corner. Oh my god. These lobbies are so relaxing. I'm sorry guys, but I think I'm gonna do more lobbies like this. It's so fun to play in them. Like once you're used to sweaty lobbies, then you go to an easy lobby like this. It's actually really fun. Okay, we got the war machine and we're about to get the hardened, so we should be able to get this nuke. I think we gotta rotate. These enemies know exactly where we're at. Is that a player? Do these noobs play so weird and slow? Okay, let's call this hard. Let's call this war machine. Dude, if we get this nuke first try, that's gonna be so funny. That's gonna show how easy it is to drop a nuke in a reverse boosted lobby. Okay, we're on the 20. Dude, that's bomb. Oh my god, oh my god. Dude, it's so easy. You know, low key, I kind of want to go for like a world record in one of these lobbies. Like most kills in a game or something, or like fastest nuke. Oh my god. Dude, they're so scary. They're literally in every corner. My teammate actually just saved me. No way. A bot just saved me. Okay, we need like two more kills for this nuke. Watch me die. Is that an RCX to die here? Oh no, it's my teammates. Okay. I was gonna say, like, we're done. Nope. We need one more for this nuke. We should be able to get this, hopefully. I don't really want to push over, though. One more kill. Come on. Enemies, you gotta move forward. Get out of the hard point. Please stop playing objective. Okay, they should be crossing in front of us. 
If I die, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Let's go, we got the nuke. What are you doing, you bot? 30 plus. Oh, what if we went for a double nuke? That would actually be kind of fun. Wait, is there three? There's three people here. What the? What was that? Dude, I don't like that they like to lay down. Okay, let's call on this nuke. It doesn't end the game, so it doesn't really matter. And then we got the war machine for this life too. And so hopefully we can get a nice little double nuke. That'd be cool. Single amp nuke. Let's go. So much skill. Totally not reverse boosted. 42 and 4 with an amp. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. Let's go. Okay, we got a couple in the hard point too. I should use my war machine honestly right now. No. No. Boys, we actually died. No way. Okay, we're going to use this war machine and get some momentum for the double nuke. That'd actually be so cool if we can get double nuke with the single amp 63. There's a cure package over here that I kind of want to cuck them. Making it so they can't get their cure package. One dude's running back for his cure package. He really wants it. He's so pissed. Oh, shoot. I almost died. Let's pull out this Milano. Let's go crazy. Do this Milano. Oh, I can't wait to make a video on this. Dude, there's so many guys in there. Get off me. No way I'm gonna die by you. Nope. Okay, so I just need like 25 more kills and I get the 100 bomb and so hopefully we can do this. Not with that C4 throw. Nope. What is this? There we go. What the? Whoa, 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 whoa. That is nasty. Nasty, you're nasty. Dude, they just keep on spawning. They're everywhere. So I pull out this harp. Stop jamming my stuff, dude. This team uses jammers constantly. I hate it. Honor bomb, give it to me. Stupid fucking spawn protection. Oh my god. You see how OP that spawn protection is? Let's go. Okay, boys, victory. I will take it. Not too bad of a game. Let's go, boys. 108 and 15 while playing Claw, which I never play Claw, in a high skill based matchmaking lobby because we're totally not reverse boosting here. Let's go, boys. Yeah, tomorrow's gameplay is probably going to be a Milano gameplay reverse boosted because I'm honestly kind of having fun doing this. Used to always reverse boost, and then I felt a little bit scummy and thought we should mix it up, and so we stopped reverse boosting. But I think here and there, I'm going to sneak in some videos where I'm reverse boosting. So I think that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me out that you to algorithm and if you are new to the channel and you want to see more videos just like this make sure you hit that subscribe button down below but so anyways i hope you guys do like the class i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope all of you have a great rest of your day and i will hopefully see you in my next video